How about some damn service around here? All right, all right, already. I'm coming. What the hell do you want? Same thing anybody comes to this dump wants. Action. From 412, give a 15 minutes. You want to use your cuff, right? That's a thought. You know, I'm just a guy with 50 bucks to spend, and uh, you can make it standing up. Oh. You want to do it in the alley? No. Good. My feet are killing me. It's open. Well, though you look special. Mm, mm, mm. Glad you like it. What the hell are you? You jump bail, I'm taking you. Oh, shit. Can I dress for this? You could have made this real easy, man. Come on, come on out of there. Let's go. Now, where in the hell is that? Go.
you like. Hey. Hey. Seen the Godfather? Damn. You really pissed her off. Okay, honey, the party's over. Put it down, now! I can explain. Can't wait to hear it. Against the wall, move! I'm an ex-cop, the guy jumped bail. I was bringing him in. Look, do me a favor, will you? You can take me to my car, get my clothes. Anything you say, sweetheart. Thanks, Mitch. It's, um, it was nice. Mm. Yeah, well, what you really mean is that this was the worst date of your entire life, right? No, it's not that. It's just that miniature golf is just not exactly my style. Oh. I'd better go. Hey, don't forget your little troll. Okay. I had to sink a hole in one to win that for you. Besides, you can look at this and know next time you're getting ready for a date that things can't get any worse. And it'll bring you good luck. Go ahead. Good night, Mitch. Donna. to be kept waiting. I got here just as soon as I could. Is it done? If it wasn't, I wouldn't be here. You have the disc? The money first. You're doing business with you. On the contrary. Pleasure's all mine. Tough night, huh, Mies? Not as tough as it gets. Let's see. One 357 Magnum. One brunette wig. Don't even ask. Hey, I've been behind this counter 18 years. You know what I'm saying? Woo-wee! Look at the ass on that. I guess if you can't get in there, pants, Mace, you just start wearing them. Huh? What's your name, kid? Garcia, you the new partner? Yeah. Do yourself a favor. Don't turn out like him. 
Because then you won't be standing here in front of the whole precinct watching while a guy in drag cleans your clock. It's good advice. Isn't it? Hey, Max. That shade of orange. That's your color, baby. Is that a pencil in your pocket, or are you just glad to see me? Shut up. This is not. Don't. You're under arrest for the murder of Donna Stiles. I guess not. You have the right to remain silent. Should you choose to give up that right, anything you say can and will be held against you. You have the right to have an attorney present for a question. Sorry to have to put you through this, Mr. Mayor. I understand. Let's just get it over with. Your daughter, sir. Yeah. For cover up. How'd it happen? Definitely strangulation, but we'll have more details after the autopsy, sir. No, oh, there won't be any autopsy. But this is a homicide, sir, and autopsy is mandatory. Said there wouldn't be an autopsy. You start cutting up my little girl, and you'll wind up in a third-rate clinic giving inoculations to Cuban refugees. Do you understand? Yes. suspect in tonight's brutal slaying of the mayor's daughter, Donna Stiles, was taken into custody only moments ago. Although not yet releasing the name of the suspect, the spokesperson for the DA's office they have a strong case and expect to file... <laughs> Tobin. Hi, mate. Chief. Oh, excuse me. Mr. Mayor, sir. Mind if I have a seat? Yeah, yeah, I do. All right, I'll get right to the point then. I'll be a first. I need your help, Mace. You always had a lot of balls. We know who killed Donna. We got the murder weapon, the fingerprints. 
But you're going to get to the point. This guy was released on bail this morning. A first-degree murder suspect and on bail? How? Some bleeding heart judge. Probably when you appointed. I want you to follow this guy, find out everything you can about him, but more than anything in this world, I don't want him to skip. You got a whole police force working for you. What do you need me for? Can't do that. If a cop gets within a hundred feet of this guy, some public defender's going to be screaming we violated his civil rights and the whole thing gets thrown out of court. You know that. Oh, yeah, Mr. Mayor. I know what you're talking about. I know all about being thrown out. Don't I? Hey, look, you, you knew the score. You knew what was going on. Mace, you're still a loose cannon. And that's exactly what I need. Somebody that works outside the law. I'll pay you anything. Cash. You name me price. I don't want your money. You know what you can do with your money, don't you? This is not about me and you. This is about my daughter, somebody you used to pretend to care about. Don't you dare put that on me. Don't you fucking dare. This is not my problem. Stars. I'll do it. I'm gonna do it for your money. I'm gonna do it for you. I'll do it for her. Okay, good enough. Now you understand, of course, the press can't find out about this, so any contact you have with me will have to be through the deputy mayor. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on in, Bob. Mace, this is Bob Jenkins. Anything you want, anything you need, he'll take care of it. Pleasure to meet you. He's a good man, Mace. You can trust him. terrible thing. I've killed another human being and I have decided that I must now take my own life. God forgive me. Signed Mitch McCollum. That's my own handwriting. about this machine you got no electronics to hassle with you just kick start it so he starts every time no problems no hassle hey 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 what are you doing hey 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 you can't do that sure can it's easy uh, 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 sir 
Personally, I think you look better in a skirt. What in the hell are you doing? You made me lose him, numb nuts. Question is, why are you chasing that man for? He's legally out on bail. Now, I'm the law, and I want to know what you're up to. Huh? I mean, what is it, Mace? You having an affair with that boy? You switch it, and you son of a bitch. Baby daughter kept her legs closed a little too long. <laughs> ah! Ah! My nose! Don't you ever, ever call me a son of a bitch. Oh, you broke my nose! Oh, oh, damn, oh! What are you doing? I'm placing you under arrest for striking an officer. Oh, damn. <laughs> I told you, kid, don't act like I am. Hey, hold it! Hold it! I'm gonna get you, mate! Your time gonna come! Oh. 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 We well, you better get you to a doctor. Oh. Shut up and get in the car. Get in the car!
about a quickie? All right, baby, I'm in a hurry. Being a good girl. Hold it right there. <sighs> now, uh, don't do anything stupid. Just take it easy with that thing, all right? Who are you? And why are you trying to kill me? I'm not trying to kill you. I was just going to follow you. You were chasing me. You ran. My house blew up. I didn't have anything to do with that. All right, now just put the gun down and let's talk this thing out. My name's Mace. I'm a bounty hunter. A bounty hunter? I was hired to follow you to make sure you don't jump bail. By who? I can't tell you that. You better start telling me something. Look, I hate these things. I've never fired one before, but I'm pretty damn sure you squeeze a little trigger there and it makes it work, right? Don't do that. Don't do that. Now, who set me up? I don't know that you were set up. You think I did it? Police think so. I didn't. Maybe you did, maybe you didn't. Killing me is not going to prove anything. Now, why don't you just put that down? Let's talk this out. Maybe I can help you. I don't believe you. If you didn't do it, then maybe I can help you find out who did. Now, give me the gun. I give you my word. What alternative do you have, huh? When you kill me, they're going to be after you for two murders. Come on, give me the gun. You've got one chance to tell me what happened last night. Just one. Okay, okay. We had one lousy date, and I dropped her off. Then you went back inside and killed her? No, I didn't. Why? Why'd you do it? I didn't do it. Look, she didn't even like me. I mean, I didn't even get a handshake out of the thing. I dropped her off, I went home, had a bowl of Fruit Loops, went to bed, and got arrested. That's it. You're either one hell of a liar or one hell of a fool. How'd you make bail? I didn't. And I don't know who did. Put these on. What's that for? Insurance. Come on, we're going for a little ride. Where? You'll find out. Well, one other thing. Ah. Jesus, that hurt. Now, don't make me chase you again. Let's go. So tell me about the date. Not much to tell, really. Had a few drinks, played some putt-putt. She hates putt-putt. I know that now. What else? That's it. Well, what'd you talk about? Not usual stuff. Uh, where I grew up, went to school. What'd she talk about? Not, not much. I mean, what little bit she said, I literally had to pry it out of her. I'm getting old over here. Well, she mentioned something about a book she was writing. What about? Yeah, I don't know. It was the police and her and growing up. I don't know. What do you think? I think you're a lousy date. Yeah. Maybe. Definitely. You're not going to just leave me sitting here like this, are you? Why not? Because it could be dangerous. That's why not. Yeah, guess you're right. Well, that's more like it. See, now we can start trusting each other. Right. Hey, hey, hey! You son of a bitch. Don't ever call me a son of a bitch. Why not? Because I love my mother. Sorry. All right.
thing, man. It's a little early in the day, ain't it? I'm not here to drink. Don't lie to me. I ain't your girlfriend. Do I have to twist your arm? No, I'll do it. <laughs> Make it a double. Got some new talent in here, huh, Joe? It ain't new. It just ain't old. <laughs> Bernie? Yeah, he was in. Running off at the mouth about some big bond he had just posted and how much money he was going to make. I tell him, if you're making so much friggin' money, why don't you pay off the bar tab I've been holding for three months? That shuts him up quick. Yeah, I bet it did. Shit. Looking for me? What are you doing? I'm eating a sandwich. How'd you get loose? Oh, that was easy. Want a bite? Oh my God, that's guy. That's guy took my clothes. Hey, hey, Pam! You're the guy who took Jeez. my clothes. You took her clothes? Shut up. Did you hear me? I want my clothes yeah, back. Yeah, yeah. Look, just give me your name and address, and I'll get the stuff. You got to my you. skirt. You got my top. You got my boots. You got my wig. And if you're through wearing them, I want them back now. You took her boots and her wig? Shut up. Don't tell me to shut up. Not you, him. And look, I'm on a case. Give me your name and address and I'll get the stuff back to you. I don't want to hear that crap. You took my stuff, you ran off, and then you're standing in the middle of the street in my underwear. Now I want it back and I want it. Hey, get off me! Get the car. Come on, get the car.
Are you okay? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Except for the pain. You were gonna leave me back there. Yeah. And I'm leaving you now. Get back here. Kiss my ass! I'm getting as far away from you two nuts as I can. Those guys saw you with us. And now they're going to be after me, too. Good guess. I don't know what kind of macho bullshit you have. You don't keep quiet, we're gonna die. There's been a shootout on the east side. Two men are dead. Apparently, your man Mace was involved. Has he made contact? No, not yet. What's on your mind? Well, I just can't help but feel that involving this character was a very bad idea. Objection noted. Anything else? No, that's all. Jenkins? I'm counting on you to see this through. I understand. David. Hmm. I just want you to know how sorry I am about Donna. Thank you. This credit card, go in and get us a room. Go on, you'll be safe. Oh, yeah? What if somebody followed us? Then what? They didn't. How do you know? Because that's what I do for a living. Now go. Go on. How'd you find us? It was easy. I just said, follow that car. <laughs> Always wanted to do that. So that's what you do for a living, huh? Well, I feel safe. <laughs> what did I tell you about running off? What? No, oh, hey, listen. People shoot at me. I run. Well, <clears throat> maybe I uh, didn't make myself clear. Now listen, I owe you one already. Let's not push this. Look after her. Where are you going? Play a little baseball. Do you realize what you've done? You jeopardized the entire operation. But when I seen him hook up with Mace, I figured I'd better make a move. In broad daylight? On a public street? You do want that promotion, do you not? Yes, sir, I do. Then you do exactly as we discussed. Don't think. Just do. Yes, sir. Atkins. Do not fail again. Your death would be a great loss to the department. You do understand. No, I don't. I don't understand any of it. Mace was right about one thing. I'm a lousy date. 
My last girlfriend ran all my credit cards up to the limit, and then she left town in my car. But I'm getting better at it. This time it only took one date to ruin my life. You're being a little hard on yourself, don't you think? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I should have never come to New Orleans. So why did you? Get away? How about you? Oh, I just got tangled up with the wrong guy. A druggie. Before I knew it, I was out on the street. Supporting his habit. He said he was going to kick it. And that we'd move to California. What happened? He died. Sorry. Don't be. I knew we weren't going anywhere. I guess I... I, I just didn't want to be alone. you mean You know, I can't tell you that. It's confidential. What the hell is the matter with you? Are you nuts or something? <laughs> Who put up the money? Calm down, all right? Calm down. Jesus Christ! That thing cost me two grand! Two grand! Bail was one million dollars. Somebody had to put up a hundred large cash. Who? Give me a break, will you, man? Oh! All right, all right. His name was John Smith. That's all I know. He said that he was the guy's uncle. He didn't want anybody to know. Put up the money. Bullshit. Phone. I'll crack your head open like an eggshell, Bernie. I swear to God I will. That's all I know. He signed the paperwork. John Smith, it's in my file. You can see for yourself. Give me the file. Oh, come on, Mace. All right, all right, all right. There. Take it and get the hell out of here. See what can count on you, Bernie. Oh, what no. Clean this place up, will you? It's a mess. Clean it up? I'll clean it up! There! Thank you! Clean now!
What up, Bubba? Great. This is all I need. What's the matter? You're not happy to see me? Go hassle someone else, will you, Atkins? I already had my turn today. What do you want, Bernie? You guys. He wanted to know who put up the money for McCullum. He took the file. Game five? Look at this place. What choice did I have? <laughs> you break it up with this here, huh? No. He did it with a fucking wiffle bat. Nice. Going too far this time, huh, Bernie? Who is it? Land Shark. Open up. Come on, open the door. Burgers and beer, but you might be hungry. So you uh, go out, you kill a guy, and then you stop off for a hamburger. What are you talking about? The bondsman. That's where you were, isn't it? Yeah. Picked up your file. How'd you know that? The whole town knows it. He's dead. 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 Beaten to death. With a baseball bat. Okay. I'm gonna say this once. I didn't do it. Why are you involved in this? Now, come on, tell me why. I want to know. There are people out there trying to kill me. For all I know, you're one of them. If I was, you'd be dead. Not good enough. What are you doing? Calling the cops. Step down now. What are you gonna do? Kill me? Well, how about I just kick your fucking ass? Oh, you guys just stop it! Stop it! I don't even know why I'm here. All I wanted was my clothes. And it seems to me, if you guys are both innocent, then you need each other to figure it out. And if not, for Christ's sakes, kill each other! Save the taxpayer some money, and let me get the hell out of here! I'm finished. All right. Short and sweet. When Stiles was chief of police and running for mayor, he had a few skeletons in his club. So, uh, I played Undertaker. Took the heat for him. Even Donna didn't know about it, so, uh, I lost my job and my girl and one pop. You were in love with her? It's your bail file. Take a look at it. See any names in there you recognize? Yeah. Yours. I'm beginning to understand how Lee Harvey Oswald felt. So what are you gonna do now? I don't know. I'll think of something. Meanwhile, I suggest we get some rest. Something tells me we're gonna need it. right next door. Hey. There's the room. Somebody's got to keep watch.
say, man, pretty nice ride. Well, thank you. Thank you. I, uh, want it. Let's make a deal. Or we'll buy it? Sure. I'll give you 138 for your keys and the wallet. You, uh, drive a hard bargain. <laughs> You're dead, man. Hey! Damn. Where'd you learn to do that? Bruce Lee. You knew Bruce Lee? You saw his movies? thing in the morning. I'll be there. I'm looking forward to it. Get up! Let's move! Come on! Shut what, up! What? Get dressed! All right, all right, all right! Just relax! No, hey, 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 just... So I call Jenkins and you show up. Don't you be smart. Drop a dime on him now. You can still walk out of this smelling semi-clean. You know what the problem is? I'm gonna miss killing you. There it goes again. Your mouth keeps writing checks your ass can't catch. Eat sparts, don't it? Put this sorry thing in the car. Don't forget his car, too. Bennett. Make the call to Jenkins. 
Shouldn't we wait until the job's done? Make the call. <laughs> Good morning, David. What the hell are you doing? I have some news for you, sir. I don't think I like the tone of your voice. Sit down, David. This better be good. Oh, it is. It is good. In fact, it's very, very good. Right. Get on with it, then. Were you aware of the fact that your daughter was writing a book? Well, yeah, she mentioned it on occasion. Why? Do you have any idea what this book was to be about? No, not really. One chapter in particular mentioned something having to do with you and her. A chapter entitled, Incest. What? Incest. You're crazy. My daughter would never say that. I know. I had to write it myself. The only copy I might have. Kill my daughter. My daughter! Sit down, baby. Sit down. Why? All right. Let's talk. Next spring, you're going to begin your campaign as governor. And I plan to be on that ticket. Only this time, I'm going to be on the top of the ticket. You killed her for my office. Do you really think that I would waste my career playing second fiddle to you? Do you? Shelley, I want to plan a press conference for the mayor. Two o'clock tomorrow afternoon? Let me check. Two o'clock good for you? That'll be fine, Shirley. Thank you. Now, <clears throat> at that press conference, David, you will announce to the press that due to the untimely death of your daughter, you are going to resign your post as mayor. Now, if you fail to comply, the book will be released to the press and to the public. I think I get the picture, Jenkins. I thought you might. Come on, come on, come on, out, 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 come on! All right, everybody spread out. Now you take them under there. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. You, you, you over there. Let me guess. You shoot them with my gun. Blame it on me. And then you shoot me with your gun. How about that? Why? Wait, 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 wait. You said you just wanted a question. Shut up, Garcia. No, 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 no. You didn't say anything about killing anybody. Well, welcome to the real world. Now, which one of y'all wants it first, huh? Any preference? Yes, my choice. Stop! What? Lower the gun. I guarantee you don't know what you're doing. I'm gonna shoot. And I mean it. Get out of here. Come on, run! Well, that's more life.
I'm sorry, Lieutenant. I really... Uh, it's okay, I understand. I just couldn't let you kill those people. I couldn't. I understand. We can't just sit here. We gotta do something. Like what? Like anything. I don't know. Get some help. From whom? We don't have any proof. We just have more bodies. Come on, we gotta get out of here. Come on. Do you used to work here? 
Hey, look, I'm hanging out with a guy who's wanted for murder, and I'm not complaining, all right? Fair enough. You want a drink? No, thanks. Listen, I've, I've got some money saved up, and as much as I hate to admit that I'm ready to run off with another guy again, I really think we should just get on a bus and get the hell out of the city. What good would that do? It's to be wanted for murder. But you won't be dead. Which one of those do you like better? One down, two to go. I think we're in trouble. Get him up. Nice gun, huh? <laughs> too bad I'm not gonna get a chance to thank old Mace for it. Well, it's, it's never too late. Oh, not again! gotten here a little sooner. Good drink, Joe. Stay good, Donald. Both. It's on the house. <sighs> Simon Cash's voice check. Tell me who you're working for. This steel will be the last thing you taste. Do you understand me? Uh huh. Huh? Uh huh. Jenkins. Debbie Mayor Jenkins. Who else? No. Who no. else? Him. It's all him. Just him. Scumbag. <laughs> Come on. We got work to do. Huh? Face it like a man! 
，回县衙。Hey, May. You don't come out now. I'll kill them both. I'm not lying. May. I always knew you was a coward. Come on. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to introduce the mayor of our fair city, the Honorable David Stiles. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. It is with deep regret that I stand before you today to make an announcement that will no doubt come as a shock to you as well as my loyal constituents. May I direct your attention to my deputy mayor, Mr. Robert Jenkins. This man is responsible for my daughter's murder. What? Ladies and gentlemen, since his daughter's death, the mayor's been under a great deal of stress. The truth of the matter is, he had her killed, and I have absolute proof. I don't think so. Atkins talk. You finished, Jenkins. Far enough, Mace. You got nowhere to run, Jenkins. Drop the gun or he's a dead man. Shoot him! Shut up! Drop it or I'll kill him. Go ahead, kill him. I don't give a shit. Then I'll kill you.
Now drop it or the next one's in his hand. All right, what now? I want a chopper here and I want it in 10 minutes. If anybody else comes through that door between now and then, he is a dead man, you understand? Now move! Take me to the Bahamas. Sure thing, asshole. You. you. What are you gonna do, shoot me? What the hell are you doing? What the hell are you gonna do? I like to play a little game called chicken. Trouble is, I never was very good at it. So, I guess you win. Ciao. Hey, hey. Huh? does it. I guess this is it. I'm gonna miss you. Remember, we'll always have Paris. <laughs> <laughs> now that the mayor's kind of straightened things out for you, if he offers you your job back in the forest, you're gonna take him up on it? I wouldn't count on Let's go. Good luck in California. If, uh, if you guys get in any trouble, don't call me. Yeah, we'll send you a postcard. Home mates. What's that all about? I owed you one. Remember? Why don't we uh, just call it even? <laughs> it's a deal. You take care of yourself. Go on, get out of here, you wacky kid, you. Yeah?